Uh, uh, tell me about yourself, Tina. Well, I really love music. Oh, God, me too. You know, I, I just saw Don Giovanni. In my opinion, the best opera of the 18th century. Definitely. And the, the use of, of recitative throughout. I, I, Mozart was a genius. Oh, yeah. Recitative is really, you know, where it's at. <laughs> Sir, are we ready to order? Well, well, hold on a second. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Well, sure I do. Opera's bitchin'. Um, okay, I guess I'll have the escargot and a glass of chablis. <sighs> Same here. Escargot and the chablis. Lois, I'm gonna grow a beard. Oh, Peter, you know I hate beards. No, no, Lois. It's time I joined the ranks of great men with beards. Why, why do you think Jesus Christ was so popular, huh? Because you, cause, cause you all have magic tricks? Listen, Brian's very depressed. Could you and the guys take him with you to the Laser Rock show tonight? Yeah, sure. Hey, if there's one thing I'm good at doing, it's cheering people up. Mr. and Mrs. Ramsey, John Bonet's untimely death is a tragedy, and I will not rest until I find her killer. Or killers. Oh, really? Don't, don't bother. Nothing's going to bring our baby back. No, 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 I insist. I will make it my life's work to find We're out... We're fine, just drop it. Brian, you're home early. What happened with your date? Same thing that always happens. She was an idiot. Oh, Brian. Don't slow down, Jonas. Keep the rhythm. Bum, 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 bum. Brian, your standards are ridiculously high. You'll never find a girl unless you're willing to make exceptions and compromise so you can find your love. Lois, I don't think I have to compromise a thing. I'd rather be alone than with someone who doesn't get me. Oh, and how long has the coffee been on the burner in the kitchen? I could really use a cup about now. Oh, it's not very fresh. You see, I meant to make more, but I made the mistake of getting caught up watching Oprah. She had on James Garner. James Garner? What's he plugging? I don't know. Some crappy movie on TNT. You know, Lois, I'm, I'm really not comfortable talking about this amelodically. Binary code is the language of computers in which words are translated into sequences of zeros and ones. Anything at all can be expressed in binary, as we demonstrate in this famous scene from The Miracle Worker. Zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. <coughs> zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. <gasps> zero, one, zero, one! Johnny Depp or Richard Grieco? Oh, that's gross. Oh, let's not do this. Come on. If you're secure in your masculinity, you can answer a simple hypothetical. All right, all right, Johnny Depp, because he kind of looks like a chick, I guess. What about you, Peter? Oh, man. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. Richard Grieco would probably appreciate you more. You know, not take you for granted. I mean, with Johnny Depp, it's like it's like he wouldn't really need you. You know, he'd, he'd probably sneak out after you fell asleep. Of course, with Johnny, you get the financial security. I, I, I'd go with Johnny. Brian. Uh, hey, hey, Joe. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. You were uh, doing a little swerving back there. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, me, me and the boys were just, uh... Whoa, you're off the meter, Brian. You're under arrest. Oh, come on. Move it! I'm very disappointed in you. DUI. I can't believe this. I could actually go to jail. It's okay, Brian. You'll get through this DUI, and you'll be a better person for it. Now, Brian, I know this is a bad time for you, and if I have any advice to give you, it is this. Grow a beard. Peter, I wish you'd shave that thing. Beards are so ugly. Hey! Oh, relax, Wooly Willy. There's lots of fun things you can do with that. There we go. Thanks! In lieu of jail time, I sentence you to 100 hours of community service. So, what do you have to do for your community service? <sighs> I gotta sign to the Outreach to the Elderly program. I gotta take care of some old woman who hasn't been out of her house in 30 years. When I got caught at school with my hand down my pants, I had to keep it there for a whole week. Ha! <laughs> what a week! I don't know, I guess taking care of this old woman will be just like babysitting, only with bigger diapers. Aha! So they do make bigger diapers! That deceitful woman told me I'd have to learn to use the toilet. Well, fire on the toilet! It's made slaves of you all! I've seen it sitting in there, lazy, slothful porcelain layabout, feeding on other people's doo-doos while contributing nothing of its own to society. You get a job! Peter, stop scratching that thing. I can't. It's itching like crazy. Dad, can I scratch your beard? Have you finished your homework? Yes. Okay, then. <laughs> Here you go. Enjoy your food. Enjoy your studio apartment. Well, Peter, you got a little something right here. Where, here? No, 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 other side. Oh, over here? Your left side, Peter. Right, right, right here? Your other left now, side, where Peter. Where am I? Oh. Up uh, a little. Do I have it? Up a little. Gone? Now go down. Is it gone? Ah! Oh, oh, it's gone! Oh, oh, it's gone! Oh, Is it gone? Ah! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! I'm Dr. Goodman of the Quahog Ornithological Society. 
Ironically, dining in a restaurant that exclusively serves poultry. Doctor, what is this? Oh, it's a very rare species. The endangered white rumped swallow. Look, just get rid of this bird, all right? Unfortunately, I can't do that. Once the swallow has chosen its nesting place, it's illegal to disturb it. But he can't walk around with a bird in his beard. I'm sorry, you have to wait until the bird departs of its own accord, or you'll be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Oh, I love you so much. I love you too, honey. Ah! Ah! What's wrong? Ah! 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 Oh, that's it, you're history, pal. No bird Frenches my wife and gets away with it. Get out of my beard, you squawking bastard! Nothing. Ah, what the hell is this? De-lousing powder. Everyone on the outside is filthy. Well, you could have given me some warning. Here's your warning. It's gonna burn like hell in 30 seconds. Now, I like my tea at four and my dinner at six. And I take my bath at seven sharp so I can listen to Paul Harvey. You will warm up my bath water with quick bursts from the faucet during commercials only. It's gonna take you a while to get the rhythm. Paul Harvey moves seamlessly into commercials. By the way, it's been 30 seconds. Ah! Help! Help! I've broken my hip! Oh, 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 oh. Brian! 5.3 seconds. I could have been dead by now. What, you mean, you mean you're not really... I heard you drop that light bulb, too. That'll be 67 cents. Now go warm me up some of that diarrhea soup. That's it! I have had it with you, you old hag. You, you, you're just a, a miserable, dried-up shut-in trying to make everyone else feel as bad as you do. Why don't you do the world a big favor and drop dead? It's gone. It's gone! Oh, thank God! Peter, what's that sound? Oh, my God, they're babies. Hey, look, Lois, there are three of them, just like us. And, uh, um, sweet. E's Mysteries and Scandals, Pearl Burton, the Jingle Queen. Pearl? 1961, Pearl used an appearance at Carnegie Hall to make the leap from jingle singer to artist. That's... Sing copper tone! Yeah, copper tone! Do Dome's pill! Sing gold bond medicated powder! No one has seen Pearl Burton since that fateful night over 30 years ago. She's presumed dead. My God. And I said all those awful things to her. <gasps> Pearl! Come on, Pearl, don't do this. You should be happy. I'm taking your advice and doing the world a big favor. Now move. Your fur is making my feet sweat. Ooh. No, no, Pearl, I mean... Oh, stop trying to talk me out of it. I'm a pathetic sellout. No one who sings Carmen like you is pathetic. What? I, I heard you sing Habanera. You were sublime. You... you liked my aria? I, I was overwhelmed. You're the first person who ever complimented my Habanera. Thank you. You know, Peter, they're getting awfully big. So? So every good mother knows when it's time for her babies to leave the nest. Hey, they're free to go anytime they want. Ah! Fine, I'll let them go. Pearl, do you rent or own? So, what do you want for dinner? I was thinking about making us that lamb and rice you love. Well, you know, Pearl, what I'd really like for dinner is, uh, to go out. I haven't left this house in such a long time. I'm afraid. I know, but I'll be with you. I don't know. Come on, Pearl, there's so much you've missed in the last 30 years. In fact, allow me to fill you in. The 60s brought the hippie breed. The Reagan years have laid the frame for movie stars to play the White House game. We're not too far from voting Feldman Hain. You've got a lot to see. The PC age has moved the bar. A word like redneck is a step too far. The proper term is country music star. You've got a lot to see. That awesome Thundercat cartoon. Neil Armstrong landing on the moon. Neil Armstrong? Wait, was he the trumpet guy? So let's go see the USA. 
Brian, I've missed so much. I wouldn't be standing here right now if it wasn't for you. <gasps> Goodbye, kids. Oh, my God, Pearl. Brian, I don't have much time. God, I never should have made you leave the house. This is all my fault. Shh, shh, shh. Don't be so hard on yourself. Aside from the truck part, this was the best day of my life. I only wish we could have a little more time together. We can. Goodbye, Pearl. Hey, who wants to see a dead body? Rough week, eh? Uh, I've seen better. Hey, right, Brian, looks like somebody's checking you out. I'm, I'm not ready yet. Hey, you're getting some looks yourself. Uh, I, I'm not ready either. <laughs>